Please forgive me for summoning you all. I was hoping I could ask you to deliver a personal correspondence to Sisloden. A delivery? Isn't that a job for the Service Corps? Usually, yes. Truth be told, they aren't too fond of the Corps over there as of late. Really? The letter is for Bregan of the Silver Swords, right? I can't see him being upset about it. He isn't the issue. It's the citizens of Sisluden. They're not just wary of Renan's, but Danon's too. Makes sense. It is Sislodia after all. I see. And you've come to us because you think no one would risk interfering with us, is that it? Yes. Of course, I don't think such a task would require all of you to carry it out. What do you want to do? It's possible Nazamiel will come back here. <sighs> Judging by that interaction, I don't think we'll see her again. Until she's ready. In which case, it's meaningless to continue searching for her. I think we should stay together so we're not apart when she returns. But... What Dohalim says makes sense. Besides, we've been trying to find Nazamil for a while. It would be good for you to focus on other things for a bit. Yeah. Alright then. We'll make the trip to Sisloden. Thank you so much. Here is the letter. So what's this correspondence about? It's a formal letter between autonomous organizations. If only we could use Renin communication equipment. True. There are so many Renin machines we've been unable to use since Lenigus collapsed. Uh, Hoodle? Uh, what? Did Hoodle do something? Oh no, it's fine. I was just surprised to see him appear out of nowhere. I'm sorry for worrying you. Xion. Do you still have some of your anxieties from when you had your thorns? Yeah, I guess. Sometimes I still panic when someone approaches me too suddenly. You know what they say about old habits dying hard. Right. That must be difficult. But overall, I've gotten pretty used to physical contact with others. It makes me happy more than anything. The joy of human contact. Hearing that from you of all people makes it sound all the more wonderful. Yeah. I'm with you there. And also, I think it's easy to forget as you grow older, but just the warmth of another can be really comforting. It's cold in Sislodia, but when I hug Hoodle tight, it warms me right to the soul. I remember how, whenever I was feeling anxious or when times were hard, my brother would silently rub my back. The warmth of his hand told me that everything was going to be alright. It was reassuring. Yeah. It's a way of communicating without words, isn't it? I've still only experienced that a few times, but I think I understand. Well, for what it's worth, you're always welcome to hug me, or even just lean on me, whenever you want. You too, Rinwell. Yeah, and the same goes for the two of you with me. <laughs> you too, Hoodle. Look, Xion, Hisara's waiting for us with open arms. Uh, really? Now? Uh... Well, all right then. I guess it'll help me get more comfortable with this sort of thing. Thank you. Both of you. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. I should give that art a shot sometime tomorrow. Kisara, I have been meaning to ask you. Do you find your duties leaving you overworked as of late? How abrupt. What brought this question on? Well, it's only that I worry you haven't been able to find the time to go fishing. Oh, is that all? There's no need to worry. I do have other ways to relax outside of fishing. I used to fish to secure food for the day, but now that the food distribution network has stabilized, that's no longer an issue. That said, if you're ever feeling a craving for fish, 
don't hesitate to let me know. That's a lovely suggestion, but it's the sight of you by the water, rod in hand, that has been etched into my mind. I find it unfortunate that, within the past year, I no longer have as many opportunities to see you enjoying yourself in the great outdoors. Why don't you try fishing yourself then? You might like it. In fact, I'd be happy to plan something. It'd give me a chance to introduce you to the joy of fishing. You on one side of the rod, a fish on the other. It's like a negotiation, but also the perfect time for self-reflection. Though, of course, what really keeps you coming back is the excitement of landing a big one. I'm afraid I'll have to decline. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I guess I let myself get a bit carried away. Oh, no. I can tell that fishing truly is special to you. What I mean to say is, I'd prefer to be an onlooker, relaxing at your side, and perhaps engaging in conversation from time to time. Oh, Doe. It's settled then. I'll find the opportunity when things have calmed down. Of course. When that time comes, I look forward to accompanying you. This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary art! I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. It's as cold as ever here. The sun may have come back, but this place is still in the mountains. It will take time for the current amount of snow to melt down to this region's new normal. I wasn't expecting you to come deliver a letter. Sorry for the trouble. We heard they've been very critical of outsiders in Cislodia of late. Cislodia still has almost no Renins, right? The Renins are definitely all gone. But there's still some lingering uneasiness between the Danins here. And I keep hearing rumors about survivors of the Snake Eyes being active. So, people will always fight, even among their own kind. All you need for a disagreement is two people. If you want a reason, you can easily find one. Plus, this is Cislodia. It takes time for deeply ingrained mindsets to change. Time, huh? Of course, there are some people trying to actively change things. Some are even inspired by what you all are doing. If you don't mind, I hope you'll have a look around town. Thinking about the state of the city? Yes. It's complicated, considering that the peace was made possible by driving out the Renans. The Danans here are still working on reconciliation just amongst each other. We can't afford to be too hasty. It's awfully quiet for such a large city. The snow muffles the noise somewhat, but the urge to keep quiet is also a hard habit to break. It's been a year since they were freed, but they seem as nervous as ever. Caution was a matter of life or death when the Renans ruled here. Learning to relax those deeply ingrained survival instincts won't happen overnight. Everyone's still avoiding eye contact. It's like nothing's changed. It'll take more time for them to reach that level of comfort with other people. recognized you. You're that... Shh, not so loud. What's wrong? The days of being monitored are long over. Oh, come on. 
You didn't forget I used to be an informant, did you? Revenge and vigilante justice are officially prohibited, but still... What? Is something the matter? Yeah, a pal of mine left town and I haven't heard from him since. It's been three whole days. Why not ask the Silver Swords? They should listen, regardless of your past. You think I'd be suffering in silence if it were that easy? Is there more to the story then? <sighs> you ask for help, then clam up. Not exactly what I'd call trustworthy. Please, you're the only ones I can turn to. Maybe we should help him out. Law? So, this guy's really a friend of yours? Y yeah, I'm not lying. All right, we'll search for him. You seem strangely supportive of him, Law. I mean, sure, he used to be an informant. But he's clearly trying to change his ways. I just want to help him with that. I agree. In times like these, respecting someone's wish to start over seems more important than ever. It must be hard to still be afraid to talk to each other, even after a whole year has passed. I guess people like us will just have to keep doing our best to help things change. He's saying the king is calling for him. I think. To achieve such harmony takes a singular will. What's that huge Zuko over there? An opponent like this should be easy. This is my fault. Healing circle! Huh. In a vine? Uh, Anything in armor away. is all mine! Not done yet! I can call through armor! Sanguine! Uh, I can handle it! Don't believe it! Don't believe it! Don't believe it! Indeed. That does seem wise. Uh, now let's turn the tide! Hear me! Burn it! Will this help? Burn in hell! Healing circle! Let's get going! Nice! Now I can keep at it! I didn't heal you just so you can get hurt again. I know! I know! Can't get out of this. Don't mind if I do. Searing tempest, and that's my way. Ready and Up and at him. Unadulterated uh, fury. Uh, 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 One final push. Let's finish this off. I'll do my best not to disappoint. Far enough. I want to be interrupted. Is that a healing art? It is. I can't ignore your pain. I'll try to be more careful. Behold! The Earth pulse! Tectonic vision! Breath of life! Go Heal my weary companion! Miasma! Cure! Stronger.
There. Let's keep moving. Wait. We should tend to your arm first. We're a pretty lethal combination. Aren't we? What can I say? I had a good partner. Someone's there. It's a Renan. And he appears to be injured. Thanks a lot. I went to gather herbs, but I got injured and couldn't move. Say, you don't happen to have a Danon friend, do you? Why do you ask? So he's the one. I knew it. Your friend asked us to find you. He did? That idiot. What am I supposed to do if the people in town find out? He must have been worried about you. Can you walk? Let's go back to town together. No. I can't go to Sisloden. They kicked out all the Renans. I'm going back to my hideout in the mountains. Tell him thanks for me, okay? I never would have imagined his friends were in it. It's no wonder he turned to us. I wonder what their connection is. I'm sure he can explain more. Aw, are you tired, Hoodle? You sure he's not just trying to hide from us? place hasn't changed a bit. Hmm? <laughs> Is it just me, or does the mood here seem a bit... tense? <laughs> what? You say the king and queen are arguing? Hmm, maybe we could do something about it. It'd feel wrong to just ignore them. You mean help them make up? Okay, but how? Well, I don't know. We could try figuring out the reason why they're fighting. It would be a start, at least. Right. If only we had some sort of clue as to what could have caused it. Hmm? What's that right there? It looks like... some sort of nutshell? Is this what they've been fighting over? You ate this nut? Without telling me? No, I would never. There they go again. Ah. Deduction through reenactment. Clever. Since this is here, someone ate it. And you and I are the only ones around. But I certainly didn't eat it. Ergo. Neither did I. Do you mean to accuse me of nut hoggery? If I am blessed with a nut, I share it with you. No nut is sweeter than one savored with my dear. Don't you think I feel the same? I. <sighs> How long is this gonna go on for? I don't know. Don't ask me. If neither of them ate the nut, isn't it possible that another owl left it behind? Hmm. Should that be the case, this spat would be an unfounded one. Hold up. The real question is, was that reenactment even right in the first place? <laughs> well, the mood does seem a bit lighter now. Don't you think? Case closed, then. Is it, though? Let's just leave it at that. This snow is getting on my nerves. Really? I'd be content to sit and gaze at it all day. Tell me how you feel after you've had to shovel your way through it every morning. Come here, sweetie. There you go. Very good. Yes, that's a good boy. Shion? What are you doing over there all by yourself? Oh! Ah! Uh, Alvin? It's not what it looks like. This is... Uh, well... Uh. How much did you see? You were waving your hand back and forth and muttering something. What? So you were watching the whole time? How could you? Uh, I'm sorry. Is it that upsetting? It's a matter of privacy, Alfin. There's no excuse for peeping. But, Xion, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I've done similar things myself. You too? Sure. Like sometimes when I'm fishing by myself, 
I'll imagine I'm sharing the catch with you all. Doesn't that mean Kisaro was peeping too? Yes, you understand. Since we were all traveling together for so long, it was easy to get used to everyone being so close. So then when they aren't there anymore, it can make you do strange things. I actually tried a variety of other fluffy things as a stand-in, but it just wasn't the same. Of course. That's a different thing entirely. What are you two talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? <sighs> oh, I get it. That was practice for petting Hoot. <laughs> if you like the little guy that much, why don't you just ask Rinwell if you can take care of him for a while? That's not what we mean at all. You just don't understand. You have a long way to go, Alfin. What? So, did you two want to pet Hoodle? What do you say, Hoodle? Would it be all right? <laughs> really? All right. Here goes. <laughs> <laughs> Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. Hoodle and I are rested and ready to face the day. A Renin and a former informant. Quite the odd couple. So he didn't leave town. He was never in it to begin with. We found your friend. He made it safely back to his home. I see. That's good to hear. Now that you've met him, you know why I had to turn to you. And may we ask how you know each other? When people found out I was an informant, things got nasty. I fled town, which would have been fine, but it was too cold and I collapsed. And that's when he saved you? At first I was suspicious, but I can tell when someone's fishy or not. And I knew he was sincere about helping me. Why does he keep living in those snowy mountains, instead of moving to one of the other realms? He says he loves the Cislodian Mountains. Can you believe it? A year ago when the skies were clear, he said he was simply stunned. Couldn't believe how beautiful it was. He's a good guy. Interesting to talk to, and he knows a lot. In return, I get him what he needs to survive. Sounds like a nice relationship. I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna get moving before we draw attention. Thanks, you looked a lot. I guess people weren't joking about you being a hero. <clears throat> Cislodia looks the same as ever, but perhaps it actually has changed. Hmm. It bothers you, doesn't it? Being called a hero. No. Since we came all the way to Cislodia, why not check out Calaglia too? Calaglia? I mean, I guess it's not far from here, but what about Nazamil? We're not going to be able to find her now. She'll come to us when she wants to, so it doesn't matter where we are. Well, I don't mind, but what about you, Alfin? Let's go. It's better than spinning our wheels here. Okay. Calaglia, huh? I wonder how the Crimson Crows are doing. Pretty much the same. Just doing a lot better these days, obviously. I see someone who looks troubled about something. A little compassion can make... <sighs> huh? Xion. 
just great. You did it! Let's get rid of these Zoogles quickly. They're probably keeping people from the supplies they need. You're so kind, Xion. She sure is. I hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully it's nothing that'll be too hard to deal with. Hmm... Oh, hey! Hey. Well? Huh? <laughs> Must be nice having a family that worries about you like that. I guess it's a brotherly bond. I hope he's able to enjoy the forest scenery. Is that the Zoogle we're looking for? Right, here goes! Okay, you In an instant! Impact block! That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. This will be a delicious piece of cake! It's in the sky this. of mine! Plus, where are you going? Shattering uh, those pieces! Attack one! Finish it! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! There you go, Alvin! It's time no, to end this battle! I'm right beside you! Wow. They're above us! Xion, you know what to do! It's my turn, is it? I'm on it! Yeah! Go get him, Xion! Who wants to die next? I feel like I'm about to freeze. It's great to be able to help others through your own hard work. It is. It may seem easy, but it can actually be quite difficult. Aw, oh, man. You guys are talking about me, right? Of course not. Just keep your mouth shut, okay? Jeez. You never have a kind word for me. I wouldn't be so sure about that. I think it all comes down to your perception. Kindness comes in many forms. Stay sharp. We're going in. Hey there! Right. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Come one, come on! Hear me, flame of fury! Not today! Right in the dark! Yes! And that's my will! Flare tornado! Ignite! I'm ready! Astral energy! Full throttle! It's too late to say that you're sorry! Ripping you apart! Bloody! <sighs> Law? Got it. Hey! Go Hit no further! Flame of fury! Burn! Burning strike! Captivity! By the 
I shall ensure you. Armor won't save you. I'll face you. Prepare to be sealed. Actually, in an instant. Impact blow. <laughs> What's that huge Zuko over there? Stay far away from that thing, Rinwell. Turn the tables on it. There are still more left. Right. No time to hold back. Stay still. 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 It won't escape me. Flare tornado by the power of flame. Vanish without a trace. Explosion of the wind. Take it again. Don't leave me. Torch tail. Resuscitation. Mind if I do? Soil. Awaken and recover. Fix the scene. Masterful dash. Healing circle. Being interrupted. I'll bring you I'll bring you back from death to this. Heal my weary. I won't give up. Cure. Change between heaven and earth. I'm going to need to use all the power of my healing arts to accomplish this. I'll bring you back from death to bay between heaven and earth. Armor won't save you. A wailing bouncy of lightning. That'll bring you down. I'm ready. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. Hear me, flame of fury. Hit it hard. By the power of flame. Vanish without a trace. Over. I couldn't make it in time. I'll bring you back from death to bay. I'll bring you back from death to death. Such unadulterated feelings. A new leaf on the Can't get out of this. I'll heal you all. Be still. Scream. Healing circle. I can do a I can do a through armor. Nothing gets by me. Deny. I won't give up! You'll pay for that! Dazzle Blood! Oh, Dazzle Blood! Now's our chance! Spirit In here! Awaken and wreak havoc! Double Demon Fang! Masterful Dazzle! Another incantation! Demon Fang! One more time! Ready and wreak! Air to our next turn! Coming through! Healing Circle! I won't give up. Ready to go. The enemy is going all out. Sorry, in a bind. I didn't want to put you out. What are friends for? You're right. I'll bear that in mind. 
I'm about to freeze. What's the point of getting thing any stronger? Why worry about it? Just think of that strength as a way you can protect the people you love even more. Renwell, thank you. That's a lovely way to think. I know, right? What do you want to do about that big one? Let's take it down. Get careless. Do okay. it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll do better. No. 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 Ready to go! Burn up! Down on the ground! No further! Burning! Illuminate the dark! Only glimmer! Burning! A chain between the burn! It's your turn! you going? Now you see what I can do! Think again!
That took more energy than I expected. Yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. brother do you think you would have been if you had siblings? Hard to say. If I'd had a younger brother or sister, I'd probably have spoiled them. Hey, I'm like a younger brother to you, right? So how about doubling my meat for dinner tonight? No, that's just selfish. Man, why do you gotta be so serious all the time? Relax. I'll cook you up something nice next time I get a chance. But nothing too spicy, of course. Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah. There might be someone who could use our help. Hey! <laughs> Good. Who? 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 Okay. Okay. Well. Well. picture book made with genuine feathers is sure to be exquisite. And a much better use than making pillows for a certain someone. Right, Hoodle? Huh. Looks like they'll be holding that one against you for a while. Indeed. My fate is sealed, I'm afraid. It's good to be back in familiar territory. So then. A 
Agreed. Sarah and Lagil? Dohalim's joining too? Things have gotten strange, but I doubt I have much choice than to rely on you. Worry not, Kisara. Just relax and leave this to me. Right. Just don't let your guard down, okay? Okay. A scream bathed in blood. Rending you a bloody howling! Our art is being interrupted! Sonic Spear! No dawn shall break this night! A scream bathed in blood! Rending you a bloody howling! Sonic Spear! Soaring Blast! Sonic. Demon Lance! Soaring Blast! Everlasting Dark! So uh. Everlasting Dark! Soaring Blast! <sighs> you did well! Okay. What? Okay! Defeated by Lagiel once again. Lagiel's performance was very impressive. Who could have anticipated she'd have even stronger armor than before? I'll need to make a note to train more for future bouts. I think getting closer with Zare would be faster than training. What's the matter, Law? It's just weird how quiet it is. Are you sure? Isn't this how it normally is? Usually there's a little more going on. Like building and repairing houses and stuff. But there's none of that. Now that you mention it, you're right. Did they halt the repairs or something? Well, if it isn't the Blazing Sword, and Law too! Just call me Elfin. But that's no way to speak to our hero and savior! <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, what's going on? It looks like the construction's on hold. It is! Is that why you're here? No, I was just wondering. Mind explaining? You know how the Crimson Crows are in charge of reconstruction? Well, they've been busy lately. Which means the repairs on my house are taking forever. My family's tired of waiting so long. We could make some progress if we at least had materials, but those damn Zoogles... So you want us to do something about that? Yes! 
<laughs> you can find what we need in the Iglia Wastes. Should be a cakewalk for a hero, right? Talk about getting carried away. Sheesh. I guess this is what heroes do now. Alfin. Still, we can't ignore this. Come on. <sighs> Something's bothering you again. People rely on us because we're heroes. And we just drop everything to help them because it's expected of us. Is that really the way it should be? Crap! Oh, hey! Really? I guess... That phrasing has got me especially curious. What exactly can't be placed, and where? Could it have something to do with collecting clothing? I don't know, but something seems off. Zugus have been gathering recently, huh? The Iglia Waste haven't changed. Still nothing but Zugus living here. Not to be rude, but it's not exactly the sort of place I'd want to live anyway. There! Huh? Is that what we're looking for? I heard Calaglia's climate became milder after the worlds merged, but this is... It has only become milder in comparison to before. If it were to change too fast, neither the people nor plant life would be able to keep up. That's not quite what I meant. I hope one day the people in this realm have enough water to go swimming whenever they want. That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. I won't forgive you! If it's in the sky, it's mine! You come I face never face. fix it! Freeze, Lancer! Dance in the wind! Burn it in here! Burn it in the air! Zephyr Trident! Light and Ima! Zephyr Trident! I'd steer clear of that Zoogle if I were you. Damn. That weak, huh? Air 
I must keep striving. You can ease off yourself. Pot calls the kettle black. Good advice for all of us, to be honest. <laughs> 